There was a prophet by the name of Jonah, who was a messenger of God. One day, God told Jonah to go on a special journey to the great city of Nineveh. God wanted Jonah to go tell the people to stop sinning and obey God. This was a big task that made Jonah afraid. The people of Nineveh were the scariest people in the entire world. Jonah was so afraid that he made a foolish decision. Instead of obeying God, he ran away to the port city of Joppa that was in the opposite direction of Nineveh. Jonah hoped that God would forget and ask someone else to go. When Jonah arrived at the port city of Joppa, he found a ship that was going to sail to the city of Tarshish. Jonah thought this was a great idea, so he paid for his ticket, boarded the ship, and settled in for the long ride. How foolish Jonah was to think he could run away from God. While on the ship, a big storm broke loose. Everyone on board thought they were going to die. In an effort to lighten the load, the passengers started throwing cargo overboard, but nothing helped. The ship was tossed in the ocean, and the waves were getting bigger and bigger. All the sailors started praying to their gods. Finally, the captain came to Jonah and found him fast asleep below the deck of the ship. Angrily, he shook Jonah awake. What's going on, you lazy sleeper? Don't you care that the ship is about to sink? Hurry, get up here. Ask your god to make this storm stop. Jonah was in no praying mood. He knew that, because of his disobedience, God had sent the storm. Up on the deck, the sailors decided to cast lots to see whose fault this storm was. In the end, the lots all fell to Jonah. Jonah then told the sailors that he was running away from God. This made them even more afraid. Just throw me into the sea, Jonah told them. If you do, the sea will become calm. In the end, they did throw Jonah overboard. Jonah flew through the rain and wind and fell into the sea. Right away, the storm was over. Everything was peaceful. The sailors knew that Jonah's God was the true God, and they started worshiping him. As Jonah was sinking deeper into the dark water, a big fish appeared out of nowhere and swallowed him. Jonah was so afraid and thought he was going to die. But God had other plans. This was not the end of Jonah. Jonah found himself in the dark, squishy, stinky belly of this big fish. He would suffocate in here. Jonah had time to think and pray and get things right with God. He prayed and he knew that God would save him. For three days, Jonah stayed in that stinking fish's belly. After three days, the fish was done with Jonah. The fish threw up onto the shore and Jonah went out with it. Here he was, stinky, lonely, and washed up on a faraway beach. But Jonah knew this time that he had to obey God. He had to go to Nineveh and tell them God's message. This time he went, but not with a good attitude. He was real grumpy and still a little scared. Even so, he told the people of Nineveh about God's message. Repent, he said. Repent, or you'll all die. Jonah was hoping that they wouldn't repent, and they would all die. He still didn't like these Ninevites. To Jonah's surprise, the people of Nineveh listened to God's message and became very sad over their wicked sin. For days they cried and prayed, asking God to have mercy on them. God listened to their prayers and forgave them. While sitting under the shade of a plant on a hill overlooking the city, Jonah hoped to see God destroy it. But it did not happen. When he learned that the people of Nineveh turned back to God, he was mad. So he complained to God. God had to continue teaching Jonah a lesson. God decided to take away the shade from that plant Jonah was sitting under. Now the sun was baking on Jonah's head. He was even more mad and grumpy. How can you do this? Jonah asked God. You send me all this way, and then you don't even punish these wicked people. 
Then God spoke to Jonah and said, Who are you to tell me what to do? Did I not make those people just like I made this plant? Then Jonah knew the lesson God wanted him to learn. He fell on his knees and started worshiping God. As he did this, he realized that God was a God of mercy and love. God wanted to teach Jonah that when people stopped sinning and obey him, he will forgive, protect, and bless them.